With a phone, app, and internet connection, it doesn't take long to find vaccine conspiracy theories. It's just stuff like, uh, it's like a Bill Gates conspiracy, uh, COVID itself is a hoax, that kind of thing. I don't trust any other like information from Facebook because some of it is fake news, a lot of fake news around on Facebook. And Chinese social media platform WeChat is no exception. The ABC has seen vaccine misinformation shared in at least five active WeChat groups, with over 2,000 Chinese Australian members. One of the false claims being spread says mRNA vaccines, such as the Pfizer jab, alter DNA and genetically modify humans. It's been debunked thoroughly, even by China's state-owned media. But the falsehood has travelled wide and fast. In almost every charting group I'm in, in WeChat, and that's so popular. A study from Australia's National University found those who speak a language other than English at home have become less willing than others to get the jab. The national vaccine campaign has been translated into 32 languages across radio, print and online. And $1.3 million is being spent helping multicultural groups reach their communities with accurate information. But experts say it's not enough. There's not a lot of planning in advance at the state or federal level for exactly how communications will reach different groups, particularly different lingu linguistic groups. But some people are getting the message. You have a vaccine today? Yeah, this morning. How was that? Oh, that's good. I didn't feel the needle. An idea worth spreading. Samuel Yang, ABC News.